Now if you got clean brake group cars. <laughs> no idea what's going on. It is what it is. Unfortunately, uh, I felt like we had we had a good night in this tonight. Guys and welcome back to the Drift Games vlog. Today, stressful day. We are here at the Tully Roan Oval Night Fight. It's run by Kevin Quinn, who's a pro driver in the UK, Ireland, Europe. He puts this event on every year. It's a wild event. It runs into the night. There's floodlights. But the scary part is, is there is six outer clips all on a concrete wall, and all the walls are immovable. Josh decided because he hadn't done enough seat time in the MX-5 to bring the trusty steed, which has already seen walls this year at BDC. I foolishly. I brought the most expensive car I have. I'm trying to get in the zone, just to kind of take it easy for the first few practice laps. Get myself dialed in. We're on a new alignment setup. We're on a new tire setup from the tire box. And so, if all that works, it'd be great. Uh, we'll see how it goes. At this point, we've no idea. So the best thing we can do is hop in the cars, not talk too much, and get into the action and start putting down some laps that we feel are comfortable for qualifying later today. Out now the clutches, I don't know, giving way. It's um, it's just just not working. So I don't know. Wayne's trying to bleed it, see if that works, but never get clean brake group cars. When in doubt, it. Yeah, that was better. Honestly, so you do all the technical things and you hit it with a spanner, and that's what works. So apparently hit things and it fixes things. Okay, so just as Wayne's tightened up the last few bits on uh, my car, 
Dave is going out for, just about to go out for his second outing. How are you getting on? First lap was a disaster. It's the first time you run West Lakes on this car. It's the super soft, so uh, it would drift. So we ran them at 17 PSI, it would drift. We're now running them at 35, see if we get a better run. We're gonna do a chase with Stuart. Yeah, that was the sketchiest drift run I've ever done in my life. So hopefully this one's better. Smash it, get a good second lap. Do the best. I have my chauffeur bringing my car into the queue. Thank you for chauffeuring my car. Gate, as you can see, it has a um, crack in it. That could be why it's overheating because all the hot air is just shooting into the engine bay. It's only a small thing, someone's over with a welder, so yeah, we're gonna take it off, weld it up, and hopefully get back out there. But that one, people have said it's a lot better, potentially get you in the show. That's all I want. Get into a battle, happy days. Just don't want to make a tear myself. That's one thing. Why did that crack there? Just having the crack. Just having the crack. Welded up. Yeah. So massive thanks to those guys. Opposite neighbours. Oh, will we go through the bonnet thing now? I hate to break it to you, but it's a bit off. Look at your hands, they're clean. Yeah, find the boss. Find the manager now, Jack. What are we calling you? Race manager? Race team manager? Child daycare. Child daycare manager, apparently.
first corner I pulled the handbrake and just went and then I went maybe it's just something and I transitioned and came back killed the power straight away and just rattled itself to nothing what noise did you do? like a it's not the worst one you've done that was two different noises it was like that's a dick move there fired up fired up <laughs> hey, it was like the brakes came on. It was like when I went in the first corner, it went like rattle, 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 really vibrate the back of the car, went up and down, up and down. I went up and I went in and when I transitioned back, it had no power. When I went power, it was slowing down as I went. You're gonna start up and roll it there now. This this side. You see the caliper moving, right? Yeah, it's like it was either spinning one wheel or a brake pad was on or something. It was no power, so I just drove straight on out of the way. Oh dear. There's the crack in the side. Exact same place. Back on both sides, the exact same place. Jesus. Ah, uh, we're going again. What? We're going again with no handbrake. So essentially, what I've been told, you're driving the track with no handbrake now. <laughs> yeah. So we have no option now. We're just going to see what happens in qualifying. I would say I'm 10% confident now. Nah, you got you got a practice run here. No, but I don't know if I want to do a practice run and make it worse, so I can't do qualifying. I think I just leave it to qualifying. I'm going to jump in the car here and move down, hopefully get two more practice runs before qualifying. Adrenaline kick. Feeling good. Right, let's call that practice. I know what I need to do, I just need to do it now. So calm before the storm, Josh. It literally looks like the calm before. I, I could do with a little bit of rain now, to be honest. I know that sounds ridiculous, but uh, so what's happened is I went out for practice and you guys have saw the commotion. So we've cracked the two rear discs. So what we reckon has happened is we put on these new tires, they're very, very sticky. When we pull the handbrake, there was a little bit of looseness in the back end of the car because a lot of aluminium on aluminium, not steel on steel. And it sort of pulled the suspension back and forward. And that pulling it back and forward actually snapped the two caliper mounts. The caliper mounts snapped and then they hit the disc, it warped the disc and cracked the disc. So I have a choice now either to retire it and watch the rest of the competition, see how you get on Josh, or run two laps with a tiny stab at handbrake on initiation and try and do the rest of the track just on the left foot brake. Which was almost, bringing this car to this track was already a big risk yeah and now it's, it's, the risk is it's gone up a level now this is this is as big a risk now i did two runs with kevin quinn i was really happy with them i was actually liking the track a lot 
but I have no room for error now if I'm just, you know, no handbrake or anything like that. So I'm going to try and do the two runs. I'm up pretty early in qualifying. I'm going to try and just relax, change my driving style, do something a bit different. And yeah, I have nothing to lose. Like if I qualify, that's a great achievement. I'll be very happy that the car has made it through qualifying. If I don't, like we know we've got one hand tied behind our back. So yeah, I'm just going to give it a go and see what happens. It's going to be a bit nervy. I'm a little bit nervous now, to be honest. I usually am. Right. I'm usually not that nervous in qualifying. This is probably the most nervous I've ever been. For you though, you put in lap after lap today. I was going to say, my, my car has a, a small view. What a little you, gore. You give it a bit of a What lap. a little gore. What a little gore. Yeah. Really good laps. I, I was going to say, I, I feel a bit more confident. I was kind of building up through the laps and everything like that. And I think that I just need to be brave on the entry. And if, if you're brave on the entry, then it puts you on a good line. And then once you're on a good line, the track becomes easier. It's like the last bit. It's actually scarier if you're kind of not going up to the wall and then you've got to correct yourself. Whereas if you fire onto the wall, then you're up there and it's fine. If you're not on the wall at the start of the corner, you've got to some bounce off it like a pinball. The momentum's not there. Yeah, where if you're on the edge and just doing a slight bit of angle, it's quite smooth. Oh, Dave. Is that rain? This could save me now. If there's a bit of rain here, we could absolutely be laughing. It's bad news for me and the soft top, but good news And also for me with the soft top, <laughs> but, uh, we were cool with the soft tops for a while, and then I, I went. Say, and then it's shower, two lads here. Shower, right? shower of rain comes in, you look a bit like an idiot. <laughs> I'll just be honest with you there now. A bit of an idiot when you're sitting there in the queue, you're all strapped in, you haven't time to put the roof back on. Wayne's fecked off with the roof, and you're going, here we go now. We're going to be in it for a long time. So, uh, yeah, guys, wish us luck. We're going to go out there, we're going to keep the cameras rolling. Uh, yeah, Team Drift Games in the same competition at the same time, which hasn't happened. This is the first Irish competition for the Corvette. I wish it had a both gloves up, ready to go, but we're gonna give it a hell of a go anyway. All right guys, we wanna take a second to thank one of our partners here at Drift Games, Strom Wheels. Now they have an amazing range of wheels for BMWs and for a lot of European cars, but on our drift cars we run the DS25, which is an awesome looking wheel that comes in this hyper black. It also now comes in black and white and bronze. So you got four colors to choose from. Check out their full range and uh, if you wanna know how strong these wheels are as a drift wheel, you're gonna find out later in this episode how they've uh, kept us in the game. I think this is the damage from BDC. Yeah. <laughs> so now you, that's the BDC damage. And now you've, it's totally wrong you now. made it symmetrical. Yeah, not, not my finest uh, bit of driving there now to be fair. Um, had, oh, I had the front brakes. I said I'll go in and flick it in. And I'll tap the hydro very quickly so I don't lock it too hard to, to have it stick. And then I'll go on the left foot for brake. Went on the brakes and then the brake kept moving down. So it just got stuck on the left foot brake, so I was full throttle with the foot brake locked on, trying to drive around the track. So then the second run, I tried the handbrake, it was a bit better, but then I did the left foot brake thing again, and it just, yeah, it's just, the driving bit is fine. It's just, what is the car gonna do every lap? I have no idea. Going by those two qualifying runs, I think if I got into the show, which I'm not sure, I got, what, a 62, it was terrible. Um, no offense, Josh, but you got a little less than that. I was gonna say, he's as terrible. Mine was definitely terrible then. So we got a 62 and a 56 or something. I'm not sure if that's enough to get us in. If it is enough to get us in, 
um, I think I've got it figured out how I'll drive it for the battles. So that's a positive. I think I'll do my better runs in the battles because I've learned a lot there now from that. Definitely didn't mean to hit the wall at all. That was like just, I went to, I went to transition, pulled the handbrake, nothing happened. And it just, the wall stopped the car from over up to it's like it took, it, it took it like a champ to be fair. And and this, is, this is another shout out to Strom. Strom, lads, Strom, we, uh, this is... Strom is Strom. Right, look, look, look. That is an immovable concrete wall, right? Smashed into it now. Like, that, that the actual... <laughs> there's, there's no way around, you smashed no, into it. No, but the that. wheel took the hit before... I wasn't on a big angle, so the wheel took the hit before the back and still has pressure in the tires. Didn't even get a vibration, nothing. So these wheels for drifting, like, that's twice now I've had I mean, a hit. like, if you, if you want to hit a wall, then these are the wheels for you. If you're a bad driver, as well as a good driver, but mostly if you're a reckless driver like me, uh, these wheels will actually keep you in the game. So like if I hit that wall on other wheels, I'd say that it'll pop the tire off because it's actually hit it fairly heavy. I would say, yeah, definitely. But, um, the, yeah. Strong, the strong lip is, is holding it's, reason. It's holding it because it's, it's got such a thick uh, lip on it that it's actually got a lot of metal there rather than just a thin one. So yeah. We'll put a new set of tires on it. We'll head back out uh, to hopefully about. I don't even know if we qualified. I don't know. Yeah, we're in, uh, we're in limbo at the moment. Nervous wait now. Let's see if we've got into the the battles. I actually don't know. We could both not have qualified here, which would be a bummer. But we'll wait and see. And in a click of an eye, click of an eye, click of a finger, blink of an eye, we'll know the scores. We'll let you know the scores, and we'll see you for the show. So as so as expected, uh, not the strongest qualifying from Team Drift Games here. So uh, I qualified a mighty twenty sixth with a uh, 62 and you qualified in 32nd position with a 56 so you're right on the cutoff it's not the first time I've been on the cutoff and the last time it didn't go too well either it's technically matching your highest qualifying result of all time to be fair you've done a 32 not qualified in a 32 so that's and you've got Terence Fury now he wasn't going well at all he only got a 94 in qualifying yeah he, uh, yeah, he almost doubled my score so, uh, <laughs> so this is going to be an uphill struggle for you, Josh. But you know what? It's all about experience. So we are now going to go to battles. If you can get Terence Fury out of the way now, Josh, you'll be, you'll be setting yourself up nice for the rest of the battles. Do you know what I mean? Get the, get the number one qualifier out. It'd be, it would suit the rest of us, if, in fairness, you know? To be fair, neither of us thought we'd be going to this part of the day. No, this is the worst we've ever driven. So I'm actually, we're blessed to even like, be this far. The be joint best I've ever drove. Yeah, it's definitely not the best I've ever drove. Hey, he's nervous. I, I'd say, I'd say Terence won't make it. So. He's down there taking all uh, the tablets to calm him down. I'd say so. He's under big pressure. Now. I imagine he's gripping up the car. Yeah, he's yeah. gripping 100%. up the car. Oh, yeah. He's going to dial it up to 11 against Josh. He actually can't put the car in high boost. No? But Josh doesn't have high boost. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Josh. Just high no tire pressure. <laughs> <laughs> we we're just saying the closest that Josh will get to Fury is the ECU in his car. Yeah, that's that's the head of it, yeah. He's texting. Look at him go. I'm about to absolutely crush Josh all the time. He wants to know how far he can. <laughs> Donald Burke uh, scored 10. They, they announced it, he didn't qualify, but they wanted a special achievement. He was very happy with it too. Well, uh, he actually, just after his qualifying, he started drinking immediately after. That's how confident he was. Me, better than a nine. <laughs> <laughs> I want ruthless aggression. Ruthless <laughs> aggression. Keep us away on the way, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Go team, Josh. <laughs> Go team, Josh. Go team, Josh. Go team, Josh. Go team, Josh. Thanks, guys. Josh, you've made 16 more laps than Gary Dunn. <laughs> Anything is a bonus. Anything. You're getting the raw deal of getting the <laughs> yeah. I deserve it. We brought Gary just to make you look better. <laughs> Here we go. Nervous is an understatement. Stick it to him.
my big fear was not putting someone into the wall. Not, not, not an issue. You weren't even going to get close enough to put it in the wall. <laughs> So I just went over and uh, congratulated Terrence. I gave my all, yeah, happy days. And now Dave is... What's more frightening, you or the car? It's really fighting me today, you know, the car. Like, we're not getting on today. You're not getting on? No. Uh, now we're getting tested. Is that, that, is that the guy you're going up against behind you? Uh, Skyline. Black 32. Yeah. yeah. Good driver, very good driver. I'll be able to push because he's very good. He's far steadier than me. <laughs> Remember this morning I went out on the tires and I said that there was way too much grip in the tires and that's why I wasn't spinning them. Yeah. Two calipers were locked on in the back of the car. That also makes it tough to spin you. Very difficult. Yeah. Very difficult. So the tires weren't as bad as we thought. So we dropped the pressures out again now. So I think it'll be fast, but whether I can stop it or not will be the question. I'll let you get into the zone. Have some fun. Have fun. Be safe out there. Uh, ah, and for the, just, bring the, just bring the fucking car back. I do right, the best. Smash it. Not the car, you. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's uh, quite a spectacle. Here we go. Go on. <laughs> Stop. Sorry, it's on the <laughs> <laughs> now that was special. Fancy uh, fab work has been shown off for the first time. Fifth game's accountants will be on to Dave saying you bankrupted us. We had one of those bumpers, we couldn't afford a second. Can he find Dave, something back? Close, it there was contact. Yeah, Dave hasn't initiated. That car. Sorry, I was just cooling my car there and it was overheating. Is that okay or did it was the run live? Right, hello, Jack with you. Take with you. No idea what's going on. Is he gonna cool down that? Something stuck under? Sorry Dave, you That's okay, it just overheat that's my mistake. I just the engine started boiling and I just moved. Right, it's your Exactly, that's fine. That's no problem with me. You literally smashed it on the chase. Yeah, I had him on the chase, yeah. That was a very, very, very good. Yeah, so what happened was I got back to the start line and your man, I thought your man hadn't let us go yet or he was just giving us the thumbs up and I saw the car start to boil on the start line. So it started to go real high on temperature and I was like like really high, like 115. And I was like, I just, because I remember in the briefing they said you can go for a cool down lap at the end if you want. So I took off thinking the battle wasn't live but your man had sent us, so the battle was live. So I was off on my cool down lap, but your you man- You thought, unless you initiate. I thought unless I kind of did it, then it would be fine as a cool down lap, but obviously because it didn't let the battle go, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. To be honest, the car wouldn't have come off the start line anyway with the temperature it was at. Rookie mistake, I should know better as someone who used to run events that you can't do that. But I just, in my head, said, I wonder if I'd get a quick lap at in the, to go at down. At the end of the day, you'd rather save the car than- I don't think she would have done another lap like that. 
with that temperature starting off, the ECU could have cut out or anything could have happened. So I think we came here and showed that the car is capable of looking very good in a battle. Dude, your entry was magnificent. Yeah, I felt good with that chase. I was in it. Like, I was absolutely in it from the start. I didn't give a how much the car cost, how much. I, I might as well have been in a five grand car there. I was throwing it in. And I got half a run. I hit him everything. I was like, I don't care. I'm going to win this you thing. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. You know what? Your bumper came off, and I think it's actually completely in one piece, absolutely fine. I think so, yeah. So, look, rookie mistake. Didn't. I was so full of adrenaline coming in at the end of the run. I thought I could go for a cool down lap, but I'd already been sent from the start line. Silly mistake, and Christy absolutely 100%. Like, that's the rules. I know the rules, so I said it to them. I know they had a little chat about it, but the right rule was to eliminate me. I took off the start line, um, and it is what it is, unfortunately. Uh, I felt like we had, we had a good night in us tonight. At least you did a serious run. Yeah, it is what it is. So we'll, we'll get stronger. We'll go to Jaff Fest, we'll go to BDC, and we'll try and bring a little bit of what we learned tonight here to that, and hopefully we can do a little bit better. So it is what it is. So that is our day rounded off to the end. The car's loaded back in the truck. Dave's gone over to help Eddie on the mic. Yes, today could have gone a lot better for us both. Yes, we're both good, but then again, we both learn a lot from this event. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys like this content. We love making it. We love coming to events and everything like that. It's great to meet the crowd. And yeah, lots to learn and take on for the next events. I'm still yet to win that top 32 battle. So we get to win a battle and yeah, it's tough when you qualify last so we'll stay for the next event and that'll be sooner rather than later. So catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, like, subscribe and all the good stuff that really helps us with our videos. And yeah, catch you guys in the next one.